part of the roads and rails at this early hour. We will show you in time saver traffic. And coming up in sports, the Nets get called out by their coach after a Christmas disaster. Good morning, everybody. I'm Weija Jang. And I'm Carolyn Guzoff. Mary and Chris are off today. It is Thursday, December 26th. And we have traffic and weather together. John Elliott up first with the forecast. Good morning, John. A live look for you here. Alternate side is in effect citywide. Carolyn, back over to you. All right, Alex, thank you very much. And breaking news this morning. In Newark, two young teenagers are dead after a shooting late last night, and a third child was critically wounded. UPS and FedEx both acknowledged delivery de delays this morning. We'll have a live report on all the problems coming up in just a few minutes. And a Long Island family is celebrating the arrival of a new baby, but it didn't exactly happen as planned. Alternate side is in effect citywide. Lisa Carolyn, back to you. All right, thanks so much, Alex. And still ahead, a scary trip. And by now, you've probably finished explaining why Santa was late. Today, it's up to UPS and FedEx to give their version of how sleds can break down and reindeer can get lost. Thursday morning, a live look at the beautiful city skyline. A crisp morning. Welcome back, everyone, to CBS 2 News this morning. And now it's time for sports, and the only thing uglier than the jerseys was the play on the court. <laughs> Lisa Kearney here with our CBS 2 WFAN Sports Update. Lisa. What a welcome. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> I always have the good news, right? Good morning, everyone. Brooklyn fans weren't the only ones fed up with the league's highest payroll team being 10 games under 500, according to several sources. Nets head coach Jason Kidd called out his team in the locker room after getting embarrassed at home against the Bulls. Now, if you're not a baseball fan, a 1-2-7 ERA is very good so this <laughs> could be a very good thing for the Yankees who really need someone uh, okay. you know to bolster up their uh, rotation now you're talking I can understand yes yeah. <laughs> <laughs> very good <Got> it. <laughs> thank you Lisa time now is 526 still to come the day's top stories good morning everybody I'm Weija Jang and I'm Carolyn Gusloff Mary and Chris are off today it is Thursday December 26th and we have traffic and weather together John Elliott up first with the forecast John good morning once again. Good morning, Carolyn. Good morning, Ouija. It's cold out there right now, but it feels a little bit better this afternoon. Good morning, everyone. If you're just waking up, here's a quick update on some of the stories we're following this morning. It was a deadly Christmas in Newark. Two young teenagers shot to death and a Christmas miracle at a Colorado animal shelter after a puppy is delivered and nearly dies. Good morning. Time for Jill on money now. Although the financial industry likes to think that the center of the universe is located in the New York metropolitan area. <laughs> Most of 2013 was dominated by events in Washington, D.C. That's right. And with us this morning with a financial year in review, review is Jill, good morning. Good with morning. the beginning of the year, 2013, how did it start off? Well, it's so interesting. But you say we saw the most improvement, Jill. So I have to say that no complaints, though. It's been in a tremendous year good if you're news. a stock yeah. investor. It's very good to hear it. Thanks so much, Jill. Okay. And we put a link of all that information on our Facebook page. Facebook.com slash CBS2 News this morning and also on our Twitter page at CBS2 this morning. And we'll be right back. Good morning, everyone. I'm Weija Jang. And I'm Carolyn Gustoff. Mary and Chris are off today. It is Thursday, December 26th. So nice to be here with you, Weija. You and too. with you, we have traffic and weather together. John Elliott is up with the forecast. John, good morning. And the commute was so easy this morning. <laughs> Wasn't it great? Yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> morning, Carolyn. Good morning, Weija. So we'll have another check of news and weather in 25 minutes. And remember to get the news anytime. Go to our website. Go to Facebook. Follow us on Twitter. Tune in to WCBS 880 or 1010 Wins. Thanks for watching.